Howdy, Merc. We don't see too much of you at the cordon. What brings you here? From Sidorovich, you say? So, you know about the commander too? All right, I'll be straight with you. We used to cooperate with the army. They'd allow us to transport goods safely through the outpost and let us in on some useful information. We paid well for their services. But then we found out that jerk of a commander worked for both sides. He supplied the bandits with our whereabouts. Then he went and sold two of our guys as slaves at the garbage. That was the last straw. Yeah, I guess we got a little carried away. Can't figure out what to do now. We're holding the commander hostage, which is a kind of guarantee that the army is not going to bomb our asses back to the Stone Age with their choppers. We can't kill him, but we can't let him go either. This sly son of a bitch knows that we need him alive, and he's not caving in a damn inch. Trouble is, he's the only one who knows where the loot is hidden. If we don't deliver that loot to Sidorovich, he won't do business with us ever again. If we could only make this army best at play by our rules, it would be a whole different ball game, believe me. Kalatsky's in a cage. Laugh all you want. If you're here to find out where I hid the case with the loot, you're in for a disappointment. Go back to your beloved zone. My boys are gonna obliterate your pathetic posse soon enough. And as for your ringleader. We will hang him on the bridge so everyone can see what you get for messing with the military. Oh, really? Hmm. And how much would you charge for your services? What if I ask you to help out my boys by taking out those snipers at the railroad in bank? Get lost and stay lost, Merc. What else do you want? Think you're funny? Man, if we were talking under different circumstances, I would give you a different answer. I am tired of this shit, buddy. The guys I started out with in the military have all got their shiny stars and decent outfits to run in better places than this. You think I got nothing better to do than chase people like you around the zone? I've had enough of this. This shithole, the friggin' zone, the, the bastard stalkers and that Sidorovich cocksucker. And let's not forget the mutants. We lay down our lives to stop them, but they just keep on coming, and, and everyone on the outside just goes on and on about how we have to protect the world from the horrors of the zone, and we won't let it happen. Generals, those morons on TV, you could drown in their bullshit. And how many of these top brass have ever been on a raid in this place, crawling on their damn bellies in between anomalies, huh? How many of those lazy sons of bitches have cleared the sector or, or spent a day chasing stalkers to the swamps? Those bastards are always using the army to plug the messiest holes. So what if I loot to the cordon for some cash? Huh? I live and I let others live, understand? Do you know even what my official salary is, asshole? Exactly, you try living on that. They pay me nothing, and they expect me to feel pride in my job and in my country. The bosses are making a killing out of this zone, just like everyone else. Why shouldn't I? My job is to do what I am ordered and survive. So, I am surviving as best I can. Curse this whole place and all the assholes in it. I don't know whether to shoot them all or to blow my own brains out. The 
see. So what? I don't give two shits about you or your kind. You're not even supposed to be in here. You should have been shot on sight as soon as you crossed into the zone. No shit, those are actually my orders. Trouble is, you can't get much of a dead body, and I am due better compensation for my service here. The army won't pay it, so I gotta take it for myself. As for your interfaction conflicts, <laughs> I really couldn't care less. You can kill each other all you like. You won't hear me complain. Don't stop on your way out the door, and keep going till you hit an anomaly. So, did you learn anything useful? Of course they'll save him. The rat bastard owes them a whole bunch of dough. He ran their operations on his own and stashed the cash away somewhere. Listen, I've got an idea. The commander's got only two men he can count on. They served together at the outpost and he cut them in on the deals, so they'll do whatever they can to get him out. If we dispose of them, the bastard will realize nobody's coming for him. He'll crack and we'll beat out of him the location of the stash with the loot. We split the money and Sidorovich gets the case. What do you say? I have this feeling we won't have to look for them. Khaletsky's buddies are wandering around here somewhere planning to attack us. A small squad has been spotted at the elevator. Help us destroy them. I'm all ears. Here's your birthday present!
squad has been taken care of. We spotted their second squad at the depot. Merc, head on over there. We might have a conversation if you